The DS6 Life from Digital Sputnik to my right here is a modular lighting system, LED based, um, and each module can be controlled individually on a separate channel uh, in any of the values, the color values, the color temperature values, um, saturation. Can, so each light can act as a separate channel or it can act as a complete light unit as you have here as one channel. So in the configuration that we have here, these six modules equate to a 4K light. Okay. The power consumption of a 4K system or the DS6 in the DS6 in the digital Sputnik lighting system, uh, the power consumption is about 400 watts for a 4K light. Okay, this 4K light or the DS6 module here or the D6 light can also uh, be snapped together with the second module to create an 8K light, and you can get the frames from Digital Sputnik that allow you to do this. There are many other accessories that come with this light, uh, including chimeras, snap grids, uh, diffusion filters for each module, sl strips down. Uh, over three light modules. Um, this light can be rigged on a stand, it can be rigged in a gantry, um, it can be rigged basically anywhere. Okay? You have a power supply unit here that powers the lights, but this is connected directly to the control unit. The big control unit you see at the bottom here is for my DS6 light. The one above it is for my DS3 light. You stack them together and then either put on the DMX module or the Wi-Fi module on top, uh, depending on how you want to work, and then you can control all the lights in a stack. There's so many applications that you can use these lights for, um, but one of the most important things for commercials people out there is that these lights are flicker-free. So anyone working in high speed with phantoms or high speed cameras uh, of that nature, uh, you no longer need high speed ballasts, big lighting sources, you can light everything with digital Sputnik lights, and they're fantastic, especially for food because you can color control them. So all the colors that are required, say for example, for beer or milk or liquids, can be totally controlled on acquisition. Uh, you won't have to rely so much in post, and this gives the DOP total creative control right there while he's shooting his product. So as with all digital Sputnik lighting systems, they are fully controllable via an app on an iPad or an iPhone. Uh, as you can see, I have full color control as well as color temperature control, as well as intensity control, which is the brightness of the lamp, uh, as well as the vector and the intensity of the vector that I need to, the color that I'm trying to replicate or use in my effect. I have full control of my lights as they are all in a stack, and as you put more lights onto the stack, more will appear, or more onto the Wi-Fi controller or via a router. They will all appear here on your list, and then you can change your setup on each of the lights as you require, via color, um, intensity, uh, of the light, as well as the color temperature, um, and the actual vector that you're seeing. Going into silent mode cuts the fans on the, on the lights uh, till they get hot enough and then they'll turn back on. You can actually control all the fans via to be on silent mode, um, uh, or the speed of the fan to keep your lights cool, although these lights burn at a very, very uh, low temperature anyway.